Hello there and welcome to my channel iSpeed, I'm Ace Authentic. Today I'm going to show you can draw a gaming logo using this open source software called Creator. So okay guys, so I believe you have a basic understanding on, on like on Creator. So I'm just gonna if you don't have a basic understanding on Creator, you can just go on my other earlier videos and check them out because I think I have something for completely new beginners. But this is the uh, logo that we're going to do. Uh, this is the logo that I'm going to do. So I expect you guys to be there and check it out how I go to do this. And also don't forget to press the subscribe button because if you don't press the subscribe button, I won't get you as a sub and you miss out on a lot of things. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, once you have open clear, this is like the clear user interface, and there there is start. And where I'm putting my mouse, there you need to press that to uh, start a new document or a new drawing. So I just press the mouse there. I just put my mouse there so that you you will get uh, you get the picture like where you need to press. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly press that, and once the new window comes up, just press OK. So after that we'll be in Creator. Okay, so quickly go on to over just the brush size and also on the color sector select black and on the uh pick on the pen sector select that pen and on the left side select that two which is uh hi being highlighted there. So once you have done that you can take a so once you've done that you need to make sure so that you create a new layer, like this layer should be on a on a transparent price, uh should be a transparent layer. So just zooming in and zooming out using the mouse wheel. Uh, like trying to figure out where the center of my uh, page is so that I shouldn't make any mistakes um, like once you have selected all those tools then what you could do is that just select on the blank space the blank white space that's your drawing area that's your workshop so um, the tool that I selected on the left side it's what's helping me to draw uh, to make lines like this uh, uh, this tool is kind of special in a way because I usually use a mouse when drawing. I don't have a drawing tablet yet, but this helps me to draw very accurate. This helps me to make a very accurate strokes, uh, which I'll be really finding it very hard if I was free uh, drawing using my mouse. It, it, it helps me. It gives me control. So with this uh, unique, with this unique tool. Um, Whenever you press somewhere, it, it, it take it, it makes like an edge. It, it, it makes a turn, so you can just let it bend it wherever you want. And so this is how I was how I was creating the dragon head. So it took it took time. It took time as you're seeing. It took time a lot um, a lot of effort and in trying to get it right. So how to make it? Um, how I made it to be uh, solid, uh, to, to, to be solid, it's, it's like uh, what I did was I just double clicked on my mouse uh, button, like left left click, I just double click, left click. So that's how it turned solid. And you can also make make it turn solid when, once you, you select on the add layer. Uh, I mean, yeah, adding a layer, it makes it turn solid. So, but, but uh, here you can just stay double click. Once you know, you, you have seen that the line is where you want it to be just double click it and if you want to go back let's say you have made a mistake just let like click and it it will just undo one step of the line and you can go back so it took a lot of time to actually get the light shape or just i'm just going to speed this up uh though i believe um you have gotten the basic concept because with this drawing tool you can actually um 10 and anything you can actually bend it into a bed shape bend something into a lizard bend something into a snake and it will actually bring out the same uh, beautiful outcome Okay, so I believe right now you're done with the outline, whatever it is that you have made. So right now let's give it life. Uh, this is my favorite part, the coloring part. So add a new layer, then drag it downwards. It should be below the outline, and select that left uh, tool, uh, selection selector tool. Uh, so this tool we're going to 
uh, retrace, uh, use this to retrace the lines that you've done. So here I'm just giving a clear example where I was retracing the eye. So once you connect the line, it, it isolates the part. So it's very easy to um, to color in the isolated part because the ink won't flow elsewhere. So you have to also uh, select, uh, um, press B on the keyboard or you go on the brush tool and select the brush tool so that you could use the brush tool to color to color the eye um, the way i was doing so don't be afraid because what you're doing here won't uh the ink won't really go elsewhere because you have isolated the part where you want to color so i usually recommend using this method because it is actually the best and um it brings out the best outcome so here i was just trying to um also isolate the the shield so that I could uh, color it well so here's just you know it's 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 a brutal process but it helps a lot because it involves redrawing retracing what you have made so here I was uh, giving it a golden feel uh, a golden color and uh, I thought um, something yellowish would be better so notice that I'm doing this on the layer that is below that is below the outline so the outline shouldn't be shouldn't be um uh it shouldn't be covered up by the ink but it should actually uh, be an outline so here i was just also um uh trying to retrace another another metal metal shield so also going there to select the brush uh, or you can press b and also coloring it the same way i did on the on the above so it, it is uh a harsh process i should be honest but it's worth it because it's worth everything it's worth every second because you want this to be neat you want this to be uh, a hundred dollar worth logo so you have to take your time in doing this and you can actually uh, you use the same method to do uh, everything so here i'm just showing you how you can do the basics so i'm just going to also speed this up a little because you're on youtube and you don't really have the time to uh, to watch everything as it's being done So let's make our logo more realistic by adding shading color. So we have made the our car, we have colored our logo our outline, and we'll just add another layer on top of this color, and then uh, make sure that this other color is going to be uh, the darker version of this other color. So select that um, color uh, picker tool, then. <laughs> Oh yeah, color picker too. And darken the color a bit and use the brush to color the region that you have isolated. So you're going to do this on places where you, you're going to see fit, like where shadows can uh, obviously exist. And this will make it more realistic, this will make it more sophisticated for people to actually see and appreciate because you have already put on a lot of effort in making this uh, masterpiece. So here I was also using the selected tool, which is my favorite, to be honest. And then I'll use that brush to to color the place where I have isolated. So this is actually um, how you could uh, uh, create uh, create shades, um, shadows. So um, be patient. Uh, it takes time, but it's worth it. Like whenever you zoom out whenever people see the logo it's gonna mean a lot to them whenever you create something like this and give it to somebody who really wants it he's going to pay big money to you because you have made something that is sophisticated something that is not light and something that is on a premium level so this is what you want at the end of the day so you just need to take to take your time and shed uh, give it some some shading so I'm also going to speed this up because the process is the same 
uh, it's just that you have to be patient enough to know where the shadows exist so this is where I was putting my shadows because I knew uh, uh, knew that uh, if I add a shadow here it would make it more realistic so you could actually just brainstorm where you want to add the shadows again I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take your time it's going to consume your time but I'm very much sure that after watching the basic of this you're, you're going to uh, do a, a very much fun job on your own going to show you some quick tricks on how you can make uh, make it have big boundaries so just select the outline and select the uh, color um, color selector like the color isolator so from on the light on the light so that's how I just selected the, the outline the outline has like the, the black uh, outline so I just like selected the a black paint and I go and select and then I can select grow so once I select grow I can increase the number and press ok so they actually the black uh, the black area will grow like you have a, um, a place where the black area will grow so I just went on and then on this selected uh, on the selected uh, on the isolated selection I just like went on and then dragged it downwards so I was just trying to make something out of this like how I see lots of gaming logos, they have this maybe board outline. So just trying to maybe give this same uh, same drag on a feel. So this is how it, it turned out. I was like thinking, okay, it's nice, it's interesting. So, but I wasn't going with this. I just wanted you guys to see how you could actually make a board uh, color uh, outline, like from the outline that you have, and then create a board color outline. So I was just thinking, okay. I can also maybe increase this and I, 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 do, I did the same, I selected the, the car again and then I increased it again. I can also add this. So, um, and here you, you see me that I was like, okay, uh, I, I tried to change to make it, uh, to make the car race brighter so that I could add also another car here. But it's not that necessary because uh, on this logo it didn't really work out, work out as great. So I'll just show you what I, I did with okay, the Okay, so let's give but it back on for our drawing. Um, so I was thinking like the board, uh, the board neon grow didn't really work out with the design that I had made. So I just I was, I'm gonna turn this off. I was just trying to show you that you could also like do this on your own. Uh, if you want to make uh, a, a gaming logo that has a board neon outline, so just let's add as usual. Let's add a new layer there so that it couldn't, it shouldn't really conflict with the ones th that we had before. Um, so here, just select uh, a box tool and round the circles up a bit. If you don't know how to round the circles, I'm gonna show you in the next upcoming video. So I was just trying to see what really best suited this. So I was thinking, okay, this won't work with the neon ball. So I just turned them off because we made them to be in a new layer. So that's the best thing about this. When you have made them as a new layer, you can actually just easily switch them off. So I just selected a much darker color. Then it blended well with the logo that I had in mind. And this was quite perfect. So I just turned out the neon color and this turned out to be perfect like you see that it wasn't really nice to have them so I just turn them off and this is what we were, we are now getting 
okay so right now let's add a circle or let's let's uh, create a darker background because the white background just really didn't suit the logo it just really made it look like as if it's just like coming out of nowhere so uh, here just you can just uh, change the color to be a little darker then switch off every layer then just turn it back on uh, they are exactly the way I've done it you can also do it so this was actually great for our logo and it looks great for our logo indeed and um, still more there was a lot to be done I was thinking okay let's let's do more with this logo that we have let's um, fix the car a bit let's like fix a bit turn on what we want to be uh, visible Okay, uh, once again we can actually do more on our logo, let's just move the thing to be, uh, let's just move the square to be uh, like centered because we want to, things to, to look perfect so we can just maybe, maybe move the dragon head to be centered and select the circle uh, tool on the left side then you could also like, uh, I want this to, to, to have, okay so, okay this is the trick that, uh, this is the thing that you need to, to do, um, create a new layer as always don't forget to be creating new layers when you want to add the new element so go on to a brighter stuff and round it up a bit make it like feel as uh, you have a feel um a background feel so once you, you add the circle there it will actually create this grayish color uh, uh, the color that you selected on the um the color that you selected on, on the um the settings on the color sector sorry uh, so once you 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 make a perfect circle where you want it to be and you can just select the move to and center it there it goes it just looks like something from a card but it looks perfect it looks amazing once maybe i zoom in you you're going to see everything clearly but it looks amazing so that's what we want for our logo let me just quickly uh, show you how you can make the eyes to grow don't forget you could actually move things around once you select the move tool and select the layer that you want to adjust so it's very easy to move the uh, elements of your drawing around because you have you have made them in, in, uh, in different um, you have made them as different elements so there was um, okay so there was just like brainstorming what to do next but obviously you know it we're going to make this uh, eye to have um we're going to make this eye to to be we're going to make this eye grow so by by doing this we need to select a brush vf uh, fx brush this is the brush that i selected and you need to select a, a like a brighter color so um just adjust that a bit and make sure that you select on the eye because once you miss it it's gonna just look weird but make sure that you select on the eye because we want to, to give this eye a growing element so there you have it. you have made our logo i believe adding text won't be that hard for you but if it will be hard for you i'm going to make a special video showing you how you can add text but on the meantime like on this video what i'm going to do i'm just going to speed this up because you have already digested a lot right now and it's been like 18 minutes so i don't think i don't want to make this a boring lecture although if you need for if you need more of these awesome videos what you can do is actually what you're going to do right now don't hesitate just go on the subscribe button click the subscribe button follow me right now for a speed so that you could see um you could see oh, some of the videos that i'm going to produce next because i hope that they will help you in your logo journey so uh, if you want to add text or well, maybe you're lucky if you want to add text uh, just select the text um select the text to above there and then just give it a name any name that's how we add text so you can just customize text anyhow you want but uh this is how you add text just remember that when you add a text you need to actually uh, remember to convert the text layer from vector to paint so that's how you're going to be able to edit it so hey just select the right font and then press ok I, this didn't really suit my desire then i had a, i have a lot of fonts already so i had like a lot of options to choose from so they're just going on on fonts that's how you change fonts 
so select the font family then you go down to whatever captures your imagination then you just select save on the text font that you have selected this is gonna be this can take a while so I'm just gonna speed this up because I don't want you guys to okay so I found maybe the text that I want so once I've done that I'm just gonna press uh, close so that's how you close this tab